Hey, what's up? Kick back, relax, unwind, and, uh, you know, just enjoy the video. The episode starts with Star and Marco visiting Marco's parents on Earth. They're having a baby shower. To Marco's surprise, his mom is pregnant. This sets up the theme of the episode. Being that Marco feels that he's growing apart from his parents. He believes that because he will be spending more time on Muni, they will only become further estranged. His parents decide to name their baby Marco Jr. after Marco and partially because he has a mole similar to his. Seeing that other people brought gifts, Marco decides to get a gift for his family. Star and Marco head to Quest Buy. Star recommends that Marco ask Cobalt Ferrero to paint a portrait of him. He agrees, but makes Marco fill out an essence test about himself. However, being in a hurry, he doesn't take the time to answer the questions truthfully. He gives it to Ferrero, who proceeds to paint him. He uses the ink from the test to finish the painting. Afterward, they head back to the party. Marco presents the portrait to his parents, who are repulsed by it. He looks at it and is shocked that it looks nothing like him. Later, they have dinner. To the horror of everyone, Marco begins to look like the painting. They destroy the painting in an effort to fix Marco, but it fails. They all confront Ferrero, who explains that because Marco didn't answer the questions truthfully, the portrait did not reflect who he truly was. As a result, the magical painting is trying to correct the problem by making Marco look like the portrait. Ferrero says that Marco must retake the test and answer truthfully this time. However, he transforms to the point that he can no longer grip the pencil. Marco's parents try to answer the questions for him, but it's obvious they don't know much about their son anymore. Marco has changed a lot since he's been having adventures with Star and in Muni for a while. Star insists that she should answer the questions. Marco grunts in agreement. His parents sadly realize that they're out of touch with all the changes Marco has recently been through. Star quickly and accurately answers the questions. Ferrero pours the ink on the ashes of the painting, restoring Marco to his true self. Marco and his parents agree to catch up more often. This is actually a pretty good episode. Um, it actually shows that like uh, Marco is um, is realizing that him being immune is affecting um, his parents, which he probably wasn't thinking about when he first left. So it's nice to see that he's actually um, actually thinking about them now, and that he's thinking about uh, trying to just stay connected to them in the future. I think one of the best moments is when uh, Star says is when Star answers one of the questions saying that Marco is is older than 26 or that he's probably like 35 which is a callback to when uh, Marco was um, <clears throat> when Marco spent many years in um, in Hecapoo's dimension trying to chase her down beyond that I'm just um, I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing um <clears throat> I'm just looking forward to to seeing like like, like if um I'm just looking forward to seeing when Marco Jr. is born because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a big episode. And two, I hope that Cobal Ferrell makes like uh, more appearances. He seems like a pretty cool guy. I just hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, you know until next time.